That right there, my friends, is no joke. It is blazing hot. Okay, so here it is, the Intex Seahawk 2. Now, I did buy this off of Amazon. All you have to do to get to here is just search up this Intex Seahawk 2 and click the first one, and it shows up right away. Now, this is around $45. Although it's not available from Amazon right away, there are other sellers that are selling it. Here's a quick description of it. It's just uh, doing some marketing, inflating or deflating as a breeze with two quick fill Boston valves. Two built-in fishing rod holders. Oh, yeah, that does come in handy. They actually do come in with uh, two fishing rod holders, and it comes with the two paddles and the pump. Here are the pictures that come with it. Okay, now, this is rated a 4.3 out of 5. Let's, and there's 2,446 ratings on it. So let's, let's go to the ratings real quick. Jeff Brown, five stars, great craft, fun to customize. Renewed and... I bought this and thought it would be just another cheap kid's raft. Boy, was I wrong. This is very much an adult boat. A few flaws can, a few flaws can be corrected in this boat. If you're up for a project, I'll start with the positives first. And then he said the pros, and then he says cause, said large sea stores. Wow, this, Jeff Brown really took a lot of time to, to get this review. Nice job, Jeff. I don't even write this much in my essays. I added a wood floor with 3 4 inch plywood. I can stand and cast my rod. Yep, I actually plan on doing that. That is a good idea. Very, very, very good idea. It stabilizes the boat very well. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I'll rate Jeff's rating a 5 star. He actually took time to rate this product. Okay, let's see Steve. I've been using Intex Seahawk 2s for years for fishing. They do get holes. They do leak a little. They do wear out. But for the price and convenience, rolls up to the size of a sleeping bag. Nice. These guys are really putting their hearts into these reviews. If you don't see the value in being on a lake and fishing for just a hundred bucks, I don't know what to tell you. This thing has been an absolute freaking blast. I kinda speed fill mine with a battery powered shop vacuum. Nice, and then he attached some pictures there. Ooh, looks like he put hardwood floor. I actually really plan on doing it. That is 100% good idea. Nice, and then he put a C in the trolling motor. Carl D. Alexander, safety first, having a deep-seated fear of the ocean since being, oh, god, no, no thank you. Good tips and pros and cons. So overall, I'm seeing good reviews. I haven't, oh, okay, let's see what Yuru has to say. Go elsewhere even if you have to pay a little extra. Easy to inflate. Looks great and it floats. It might just be what you get for a low price, but the oars are rubbish. Oh, obviously this guy's from... Oh, yep, the United Kingdom. The oars are rubbish and don't move within the holes properly. Definitely doesn't fit two people, especially not if you expect to row anywhere. Crossed legs get in the way. But the it... But the... But the it's... But the it is too... 
cumbersome to maneuver alone. Mine also didn't come with a puncture repair kit. Hmm. And then he goes on. Well, year. I hope you found a. I hope you found a nice boat. Oh, this was recent. This was only like two months ago. Nice. Okay, we're done. With that. So those are the reviews. I've seen pretty much all of them are good. Wait, how many stars? Are there? Oh yeah, four point three out of five. I guess that's a that's a good rating. Let's look at some questions. Why does the boat rotate instead of moving? <laughs> instead of moving forward. Moving on, can you get your dog in the boat? She is 55 pounds. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what are these questions? Is it hard to pedal alone in a small lake? Actually, it's not hard to pedal alone. I got a little, I'm sure I'm five to have my pain a little longer. Yeah, I agree, the rules could be a little long. What are the interior dimensions? How big is the whole pack when it's packed for delivery? Shipping weight? 49 pounds is that really that heavy can you hike to a lake while carrying it reasonably can i take my 70 pound lab mix on it hmm. it's a good thing we know what type of dog it is it's important what kind of motor would i buy is this recommended for both fresh water and salt that's a good question do you think it could use two 20 dollar dumbbells or 20 pound dumpy. Is it good for bass fishing? I think it was made for bass fishing. I mean, what other kind of fishing is it made for? I just, just like this question a lot. Why does the boat rotate instead of moving forward? Hmm. No, I couldn't answer that one. Oh, there's 14 other answers. You should Google how to row a boat. I know how to row, and this is a very difficult product to use. It takes more than water's patience and a lot of frustration. This is a great product for river travel, not so much for lakes. Gonna have to disagree with you, C Dub. Okay, I want the response to. So yeah, there it is, Seahawk 2. Pretty well put together boat. We're gonna look at it right now in the backyard studio. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have been thinking of a name for this boat. I was thinking salty, something nice like that. But I'm giving you guys an opportunity. First one to go it down and in the comments and comment a name suggestion will pick the name of the boat but if the first name is just super silly and i really don't like it then i'm gonna go with the second and same thing with second and third so if you already see someone else commenting just put your suggestion down and i might pick it also tell me get tell me what you feel about salty because I, li I like salty even though we're fishing fishing freshwater and this is the freshwater city channel i like the i like the name salty Seahawk 2. As I said, comes with two paddles, comes with a pump, and the bow. Now, let's just check this out together. Okay, so I bought this about a year ago, and when I bought it, I expected the material on it to be super, I don't know, I guess thinner than 
I expect it to be thinner, but it's actually very thick. And I was actually, I originally got this as a fishing boat, and I was wondering how a hook would handle, or how it would handle getting a hook stuck into it. And, um, it's pretty heavy duty. As you can see here, rod holder, rod holder, and that is just the beginning look. Let's get this thing pumped up. Okay, here is the final product. This is with everything that they gave me in the package, besides the pump, of course. But the oars came with the package, the pump came with the package, everything came with the package. Except, here's the thing. I bought this boat about a year ago. I went out with it about three times. Haven't fished in it once yet. Haven't caught a fish in it yet, obviously. And... The oars got chomped in half, and as you can see, compare that to my hand, pretty small oar. So, my recommendation, buy your own, buy your own oars, which will make it a lot easier for you. And here we have rod holder number one, rod holder number two, handle number one, and there's no handle on the back. But there is a handle number one, which is good. Now, here's my plan for the future for this rod. Now, this is the Seahawk 2, which means it's supposed to fit around two people. It's really, really comfortable with one person, but it could totally work with two people. Here's my plan in the future for this. In the future, I plan to get some plywood, put it with outdoor indoor carpet, round it with some, some pipe insulation, that way it doesn't get any punctures in it, and then I'm gonna put it on the ground. And I've seen so many people do that, and I've heard from them it really does stabilize the boat. And I don't know about you, but I really like to stand up while I fish. A lot of people have their own ways of fishing, but I like to fish while I'm standing up. And you see these two things here, and this right here, and this right here. That is a motor attachment. So I do plan on buying a tro trolling motor and attaching a trolling motor on the back of this. And imagine how light this thing is with a trolling motor in the back. It's gonna be awesome. I actually can't wait to do that. Now, as far as comfortability on the boat, as you can see, it is very comfortable, very nice material. On the other side here, very nice material. Very high grade system. It has three compartments of air. It has this, this, and then this. So that if one does get punctured, you're not gonna just sink to oblivion. There's some nice pads here so that you don't get any punctures if you rest on it a lot. Um, yeah, this is the Intex Seahawk 2. There is the Seahawk 3 and the Seahawk 4. Now, in my next episode, which I will be posting this weekend, I will be taking this out on the water. We're gonna be frogging in it. We're gonna be throwing some crankbaits, some jigs, some sankos. We're gonna see what's gonna be biting. It's gonna be a huge body of water, super pressure to fishery. And um, I just can't wait to get out there. So hopefully we catch something on the frog, something like that. And I can't wait to get this baby out there. So thanks guys for making it to the end of this video. If you guys, if you guys get a chance, I highly recommend that you invest into the Seahawk 2 and you end up buying a trolling motor for it because it is super comfortable and super nice. I'm sitting in it right now. My feet aren't even reaching to the end. Uh, it's just a really well put together, high quality boat at a very affordable price. And um, the best part about this is you don't need any storage area. Basically, you just need that little box right there as a storage area, and that's pretty much it. So, thanks again for making it to the end of this video. If at any point throughout this video you enjoyed what you were seeing, you were seeing, Make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, comment on the video, like the video first, and then comment on the video. Just uh, comment what videos you want to see next, 
comment if you like this video. Comment uh, what places you want to see me fish next. If you want to see me fish some creeks or some lakes or some rivers. You know, whatever you guys want me to do, I'm always down to do it. Thanks a lot for tuning in and watching the Seahawk 2 review. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. Hope you catch a lot of fish. Stay fresh, and we'll see you next time.